go to sleep hello viewers this is a video on the command browser uh, this command browser is essentially a list of all the commands that can be used with dragon naturally speaking and uh, this is a good list that you may want to refer to from time to time and I strongly recommend that a beginner at least take a look at uh, some of the commands that he or she may be using and when you go to that list and as you can see there is when you go to the list and let's say I'm trying to see for this command uh, where the mouse is uh, which is the second last line on the screen and it says switch or change dragon bar to so this is essentially a command to change the appearance option of dragon bar and we'll go into this in a in a little more detail um, so essentially uh, when you go and look at this you will also see other commands and uh, maybe you would be curious and look at other commands and learn a little more about other commands and start using it in your daily work so that is why I recommend uh, looking at the command browser from time to time I myself learned about several new commands and that improved my speed uh, with uh, dragon naturally speaking um, so uh, what I wanted to do actually was to show you the appearance options for dragon bar but uh, due to the way this functions the screen recording functions um, if I change the appearance option of dragon bar uh, that is not reflected in the screen recorder so I was not able to demonstrate uh, the change in appearance option of dragon bar but one of the uh, one of the other uses to display this was to also show how to discover these commands on your own via command browser um, so for those of you who are new to dragon naturally speaking let me just explain uh, what is a dragon bar it is a bar that if you see at the top of the window there is a bar uh, or, or there is a dragon control with various menu options on it that is called a dragon bar and uh, uh, in version 13 dragon naturally speaking premium version 13 that is what I'm using right now um, uh, nuance came up with a different uh, appearance of dragon bar and they call it as the modern mode uh, which is not a straight bar at the top uh, it is actually a collapsible bar so you get more real estate but the why I have was forced to go back to the traditional dragon bar was that uh, the the new dragon bar would not show up if I started dragon automatically uh, which means that there is a bug in the dragon bar it will not show up but it was active so every time I start dragon automatically I would not see any control but if I say manually wake up and then I say switch to uh, uh, switch to top mode which is this traditional mode which you can see on the screen that uh, there's a dragon bar then I would be able to see that kind of dragon bar and I would be able to work um, and then I accidentally discovered that I can change the dragon bar options and uh, that I did via going through the command browser and that's what I wanted to demonstrate um, so let me first uh, have a quick overview on the command browser as you can see the command browser has got this window has got various sections one is the context and right now you're seeing the global commands if I click on it then you would see uh, various uh, applications so with each application let's say if I go to Google Chrome and if I see if I click on it it will show me a list of commands associated only with Google Chrome and that's how you can also see a list of commands associated only with Microsoft Outlook 2010 and that is useful so because if you're using a particular application uh, you can just quickly go through all the commands associated with it in the command browser with that said uh, this is a list of commands and it is not really intuitive but it should uh, as I said you should still go through it because you would learn something new every day and if you spend some more time uh, even though as I said it is not intuitive it would start making sense to you uh, after spending some minutes and trying the commands out so uh, let me go and just show to you 
how to use the dragon bar or how to view the different dragon bar com uh, commands so wake up wake up mouse click show all go to sleep so as you can see I just highlighted the command dragon bar and then I said the command show all show all is something which is here so I'm basically I can say whatever is in this left uh, bar I can just say those commands and uh, uh, whatever is like I if I say back to list it will go back to the list so I can just say this and the command browser will execute that as if I had clicked on that particular control or link now if you can see uh, this is change drag bar to cling mode, dragon bar to dock to bottom mode, top mode. Essentially, what this is, uh, top mode is the dragon bar is at the top of your screen, and all the windows will be beneath that. Bottom mode is uh, opposite of top mode in a way. The dragon bar would be at the bottom of the screen, and this is what I wanted to show uh, to you, but. Uh, as I said screen recorder would not allow me to show that but you essentially you just say bottom mode and the dragon bar will be at the bottom of the screen um, then there is modern mode which is actually called the new mode also so you can actually say modern mode or new mode and that will bring the dragon bar to a collapsible version and as I said in my case it is not showing up and that's why I have to go to the top mode or the bottom mode um, there is um, so so as you can see there is these um, commands change dragon bar to cling mode to dock to bottom mode dock to top mode and similarly select dragon bar cling mode select dragon bar dock to bottom mode I won't go into the details of each of these but suffice it at this moment for to say that uh, dragon bar can be in different modes one is bottom mode to a top mode cling mode floating mode and modern mode um, let me show these are also configurable uh, instead of saying this using voice you can also configure them um, uh, through mouse if you want and I'll just uh, tell it to you how to do that basically you see a, say a command appearance options so let me show it to you wake up wake up appearance options click view go to sleep so basically these are the options that you can also access by using the menu command on uh, or, or using the menu bar on the dragon bar which is shown at the top of your screen and here you can see um, this is the new or modern mode dock to top is what is being configured dock to bottom is what we talked about bottom is the dragon bar is the bottom floating I've not tried but cling I've tried cling is basically clinging to your application um, uh, to the to your application which is uh, which is uh, uh, in display at the current moment and then tray icon only means uh, a dragon will only be seen uh, at the tray icon but um, I wouldn't recommend that mode because you would want to see uh, whether your microphone is up or sleeping and what is actually happening so at least I need that so this is another way of configuring this um, but of course as I said in between a dragon session you can always change the mode um, and that's about it for now I don't want to make my, tra uh, my training videos long because then people lose um, concentration and focus so what we learned in summary is that uh, there are various modes for dragon bar usually you would not like to change the mode but if there is a bug like I'm encountering you would want to change the mode of the dragon bar and secondly is uh, that you can um, you can learn about these commands using the command browser and uh, if you want uh, to navigate through different commands you simply have to say the links or the name of the controls at your top left or, or at the left of the screen and uh, command browser will execute them as if you have clicked on this so let me just show the back to list or show all again to you wake up wake up click cancel back to list 
go to sleep so that's about it um, uh, if you like if this video has been useful you could consider liking this video or subscribing to my channel I blog about voice recognition tips and also tips on managing chronic pain because I'm one such sufferer and that's how I got into the voice recognition I'm not able to type I'm basically use computer through voice recognition only so I blog about these uh, things about managing chronic pain about voice recognition about being functional with chronic pain as much as possible and the link to the blog is in the description uh, do uh, feel free to uh, share your comments on either of these topics and if you have any question or problem that you face persistently with voice recognition do share in the comments below I also to the people who are able I also strongly recommend to include voice recognition as a part of the daily routine for example you can do emails from home using voice recognition and that will reduce the strain on your arms and wrists and neck and upper body or uh, also your lower back a bit so uh, that's about it thank you for watching I hope you have a good day